JustGeePants.com. JustGeePants.com in the house. John Briggs, Brandon Mullins. Welcome back to another edition of How to Clown Your Opponent, How to Counter His Weak Ass Attack. So today we'll be talking about somebody attacking us with a Kimura from Side Control on bottom, which I wouldn't recommend, but a lot of people do it. Even at a high level, you see people do this. And if I know this counter, what am I going to do to them, John? You're going to rip their arm off. And clown at the same time. So let's just demonstrate the technique that we're going to counter in case uh, you boys and girls are there don't know what we're talking about. So let's do this way. And it's appropriate that, that, that John's a lot bigger than me because this is, a, this is a, a technique that oftentimes is going to be done by a bigger person to a smaller person. Uh, even though, I mean, you're going to see it in weight class as well, you, you will see it a lot particularly in a training environment where people are matched up with different sizes. So I'm going to be here in side control, and he'll try to like bump me. And look, he's going to grab the wrist. He's going to catch there, just like a Kimura, and he's just going to roll. Yeah. And I have to roll over there, and then he's going to finish. Okay. Maybe he doesn't get the finish. Maybe he, gets this, he just gets the reversal. But if the guy's a lot bigger than me, it was probably hard getting to side control. So I want to maintain it or, or get a finish. And that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to get a finish. So when he goes for it, he bumps me away. Boom. He grabs. The first thing I need to do is, look, you need to step your leg up and connect your hand inside your thigh so it doesn't just rip your arm out of socket immediately. Okay? As he starts to roll, look, I'm just going to walk around him, and I'm going to catch his head here, and I'm going to sit. Once I get here, you can see that I'm already in the arm lock. It doesn't matter that he's holding my arm. All I'm going to do is I'm going to catch my palm here, palm heel strike, to his uh, trigger finger. I'm going to push it right off, control, and finish. I can finish with the shin up, which we'll do now, boom, or I can make an adjustment, which we'll do next. So one more time. So I'm going to be here. He's going to bump. He catches the Kimura. Look, one, that's the first thing I do. And then I want to start to walk. Control. You see how I control this arm? That's going to help to neutralize, and it's also going to help to pry his arms a bit apart. So I'm going to finish here. If you're worried about the counter that we talked about last time, look, just slide your leg over, no problem. And then same thing. Look, palm heel strike to the trigger finger. Boom. If you don't know what trigger finger is, it's this. People from the not south, call it the index finger. We call it trigger finger down here. I'm gonna control and finish. If you do that, you're gonna look like Matt Hughes when he romped on George St. Pierre. The first time they fought. Of course, uh, me and John have been knowing this technique for a while. But uh, a lot of people became familiar with it when that fight was broadcast. Enjoy your pants. Enjoy your training. Just keep pants.com. Always free shipping. Just Revolutionizing Geep Pants. Always free shipping.